Hey guys, VenomK117 here, and today, we're playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. I'm guessing you already knew that, the second you saw Frictional Games up on the screen, you're like, ah, right, yeah, Amnesia. Also, the title of the video, but, yeah, well, well. Moving on. Yeah, so this video's been posted a little bit late, as will be the Saturday vlog, because, um, I had to look after my sister's dog, so... Well, I'll explain that in the vlog, anyway. Alright, where do we leave off? We went off over there. Why am I thinking blink? It's because of the last horror game I played was SCP Container Bridge. We have absolutely no fucking oil. A slight headache and some cuts and bruises. We're not doing too bad in the old sanity and... I'm trying to remember, did we actually go off into the morgue? Because I can't remember if we did, so... The beautiful world awkward seems a testament to nature- Yeah, I could have already read that in the last episode. Yeah, we've already been here. Right, I think we're meant to go down now. Purpose in the second would always been to study girls for- Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cheat. Cheat is in cheats that we can read. It's not really... It's like, well... The game's just being a big, stupid, poopy head. Okay. No, there's nothing else coming down here, though. Because I like to do it, shake it, move it, move it. Shake it, move it, shake it, move it, move it, shake it, move it. I'm supposing this door still doesn't open. Yeah. I'm just not that lucky, it seems. It's maybe over in this area. Well, hey! Progress! It's now we're in the sewer. Henry Bedlow went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried, he made others cry instead. Pain is like that. You become sad or you become angry. Henry always chose the latter. Sounds like me. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't realize I was in this game. Aside from playing as Daniel. Oh no. We already know where this is going, don't we? We know exactly where this is going. There's no way it couldn't. Because it's a fucking sewer, so it's to be expected, I suppose. Are an idiot. <laughs> okay. Sprint, Danny, sprint. We can't even go over there. Ha! Ah. Close up behind us just in case. Oh, a puzzle! Oh, oil! Oil. Oil? <gasps> Full oil! Yeah. Okay. Um. Two levers control the noise machine. Is there like something we're meant to do here? I guess I'm meant to shut it up, but... 
like, I love Amnesia, but god damn it, it's cool. Maybe it's as simple as we're meant to shut it the fuck up. Let's be best friends that never ever look at each other. This is literally the worst hiding spot ever, of all time. But it's all we've got. Oh look, shrooms. Oh, well, that explains it! Danny's high! Get up there, you son of a bitch. You can't hurt us if we're up here. I like to say, but honestly, I can't say that with conviction. Right, it seems he's gone. I'm trying to find copyright free stuff to put in my videos. So what was the point of stopping the noise machine? It must have had some sort of significance. Oh shit. I am so awesome on it. Significance and shit. That's British right there. What's happening? What are you doing? Let me go! Oh, okay. Take me! Nobody ever returned! You are an idiot! <laughs> I'm guessing there's another machine. And I've gotta, like, mess around with it until they're both quiet and then that fucking thing will will stop. That would be my assumption. Yeah! Hallelujah. Right, we got a pipe. Are we meant to stick it back on or. Yeah, there is an object to use on Can't use it! Oh, right, yeah, I know, to jam it in the machine. Like, despite the fact that there's, like, a few too many puzzles. I cannot deny the fact that this game is just amazing. Somebody fought this guy up. Damn it. Turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Yeah, baby. No, I'm not carrying the shadow with you. I'm carrying this baby with me. Come on, face. Face is slowing me down significantly. That's lovely. Okay. Alright, there's gotta be a reason I was brought here. Other than to see a dead body. The barred gate was torn down by that creature. It's fucking moose man, isn't it? God, one hit kill. Shit. In theory, you shouldn't spawn. Like, I didn't realize it was one hit kill, but fuck that guy's ugly. I'm gonna have to put a picture up of him on screen, I think. So, if he's outside there, how the fuck am I meant to get out? Uh. Okay. I don't know 
what to do. Well, I mean, I've got a theory on what to do. I'm gonna wait until the fucker comes by, and then we're gonna throw the arm. Run! Oh god! That guy's fucking fast! Tread careful. Fuck you! You're telling me to tread carefully and be careful and shit. Pfft. Be careful as for pussy, my friend. It's over at Russia. You fuck Moose Man. Of course, everywhere else, Moose Man fucks you. I'm guessing old Moosey doesn't despawn. I suppose calling old Moosey might be a little bit offensive to him. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. Is he just going to be where I left him, is he? I guess he does despawn, I stand corrected. Maybe you weren't meant to die twice. If you needed any further proof that I suck at video games, unless it's on the fucking console. RUN! Ah! God damn, that guy's a douche. Holy fuck. Freedom! There's never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show down the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? Probably. Fuck me though. This game. Jesus Christ. It's not as scary as people say it is, but it's still pretty fucking bad. You only use one allow down and it's not enough. Do I get a courtesy loud down in this area? For all the shit you've just put me through. Well, first door I open, actually leads somewhere. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. See, I've learnt better than to assume. Right, I think I sort of remember this area. From um, playthroughs. Yeah, Markiplier said always check under the stairs, and then I think there was nothing coming to the stairs, so. Maybe there was something under the stairs for once. Maybe that was the time he said, oh yeah, there is something under the stairs. Yeah, that was that time. I thought it was a loud down, to be honest. Stop whining, you pussy. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No, I can't feel anything, Alexander. Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Probably not. I sounded sorry, my right there. Is life even worth living? Probably not. Hi, Grippy! Ow. Help me. No. Switch. No. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> oh, fuck it. Are you among the lion's den? Fuck yeah. You want to stop Alexander? Oh my. So Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> I didn't say shit. You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's that's not very promising at all. The sanctum is basically a penetrant, but guess that why I hope. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Possessive? Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, 
Seek out the pieces of the broken arm and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transfer. You should be able to find them there. Alright then. We're obviously need to enter the sanctum and shattered pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms. Ow. Oh, fuck you. Dad, I hate to bother you first, but Don't if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Hai, would you please bring it to me? I can't wait to see if he's working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic to free me from this husk of my heart. A grip of the dying man seeks a note written by a man named Johan Weir. What the fuck was over here? Me and Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Didn't ask. This one's quite important to you. I don't care. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead house for years. Shut the fuck up. Who knows how many? Fuck off. Hundreds. Like so. Hundreds. Melodramatic much? Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Shut the fuck up! I don't want to hear this dialogue. By me, I'm the next best thing. Alexander really wants manners as Johann Meyer. Shut up! You never heard of Johann Meyer? My God, boy, he's probably the greatest man in history, and you don't know him? No, I don't. Okay, I think this is. I don't think I could jump that high, just a punch. You guys are like you. Are my people. My people. Shut. Yes. Oh, I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? God, why is that guy that shut up? Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to like build my way up here. I found the wheat fire box. Find the chat not been climbed up. Do you know this way? I suppose it was that. It is a great thing. We will tempt himself on the caverns. The dark ones being the universe. And inside are its followers. Julian, watching this guy slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to have the real sense of connection. Creation. The cause. Shut up! Actually, this is interesting dialogue, but still. Shut up! I wish we had to make them in talks and let them. They sometimes consume themselves or break their news by an uninitiated. I am the slug. So all my life, spare my life, and return to where I found her. I know because Alexander took it. What did you write of her? Shut up! Yeah, no shit. No shit. Hey guys. Jenga! Might as well listen to Unlike every other finder since the fall of the Israel thing, he was able to unshackle the heart you and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. As annoying as I find this dialogue, it is rather interesting. Uh, it's, it's somewhat Me, powerful. That's the way I hope to work. I've done all that I can to escape this prison. But now, I use all my strength merely to stay alive. As much as I know it, it is important to the story, so we'll, we'll listen to it. Anything else? Probably, never shuts up. My pupil, Johann Weyer, said he found a way to take me with him. Beyond the stars. But I was too afraid to come along. Seriously. And now, all I can do is regret it.
Shut up. You can't stop talk talking. I've always a fire would return and give me a second chance. But so does Alexander. That's why he keeps me here as a hostage, hoping Vaya will reveal himself. Shut the fuck up. Now you're a good boy, Jack. And I appreciate your company. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. You bastard! Of course I have more important things to take care of, you absolute fucking wanker. Sit here listen to you talk, she never shut the fuck up. Oh god. You hurry, no time I'm going to kill you. I'll choose the fucking bad ending if you don't shut the fuck up. You know what, fuck this. Let's play Dock Hunt. And he... Yup! Ah! What a throw! I was able to hit him directly, but... That dust was dubious. For a second I was like, oh shit, it's Moose Man. I keep hearing change, and I keep thinking I'm hearing Moose Man in the distance. The best of it is, I'm probably not, but I just keep getting that feeling, it's like, oh god. It's just the ambience. Cause I got a feeling. Well, that's not a great fucking thing to have. People could commit suicide, though. We should have to be a real fucking idiot to do that, but... What a puzzle. August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The hoarding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. Oh God. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. You sick bastard. Because I know all this because I've watched the Let's Play. But it's not the point, you sick bastard. I may have seen a Let's Play, but at least I'm not fucked up like you are, mate. I can be pretty fucked up too, so I say it's weak. You know you're fucked up if you're more fucked up than me. Okay. So... Outside of the fact that we just turned on the machine, is there anything over here at all that we need? Can we not park or up that like it's your out of the door, Okay. Mentos. No, nothing important. Nothing at all, actually. That we've just good. Oh yeah, that one's locked. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. We're not friends. You're not my friend, buddy! You're not my buddy, guy! I'm not your guy, pal! I'm not your... Battlefriend! <laughs> okay, South Park is ludicrous. Damn, is it funny. You, silence. Ah, you again. Oh, fuck off. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Yeah, you didn't. You thought I could do it, and you were correct, but you didn't know. Mr. I know everything. <laughs> there, she's singing my tune. Agony. Where taught me for the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for the for for my efforts and still insists on releasing the gripper. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. A gripper channels where. I can't bring myself to part from a gripper as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world beyond. Where claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him a gripper first so he too can help. 
If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I've seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must ret retain it. I shall pr rep prepare for his release. To release his grip without killing him, Weir told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer vitae and tamta. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents, its contents with the proper tools. The vitae can be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tapter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property. It's, it's property of the secretion in the water dwelling. Kerk, Keng, Kerk, Keng. I don't know how to pronounce that. After address where with this, he'll have to supply me with a host. Also, a, prop a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Ah, cipher. In court, the Order of the Black Evil spew their politics to each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cab before regaining their senses. They all know that I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away. Will I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish? Okay, yeah, let's close this. I want to check actually, how long have we been recording for? We've been recording for a good 26 minutes. We'll keep it going for another 5 minutes, because we might as well give you the, uh, the full time. There's no point in quitting it now, it's not like we got any there. Anywhere, any there. Fuck, I've turned into a gripper. It's not like we turned anywhere vitally important, so... Choir! <laughs> Something died inside him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. I'm going to assume it's referring to uh, Danny Boy. Oh yeah. After the men secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Oh, that's fucking charming. Alright, so I'm guessing I need to... No? Okay then. We're gonna need one of these later on, so I don't know why it just doesn't let me take that one. So you always need a bin, for bathing purposes. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Oh no! Hurry! No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. Oh, dear God. Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines. Take the man, cut the lines. Now, please, the man cries. Pass, pass. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Oh, damn, my character's just a psychopath. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Psychotic bastard. Should have a torch off before doing that one. Oh! Oh! I think I'm going to end the episode. I'm going to end the episode like this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Poke. 
Poke. Poke. Poke. Poke. Ugh. Ugh. God damn it, Timmy. It's gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Shazam! Oh, that must have hurt. I don't care if you're dead, you'd still fucking feel that. Choir main hall! The choir main hall was actually a really. Carefully cooking the matter open made him think. This is how Father must feel about his craft, being an artisan, relying on one skill to perform something so, so delicate. Grants a certain form of pride. Well, shit, this area is dark. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now Help you me. only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. Oh shit! Oh! Ah! I'm alive! But now I'm running! Run, Danny, run! Everything's all good. You know it's all good and everything's all right. You hear this scream in the middle of the night. Oh my god! Not that scream, that's the bad scream. That's the oh shit, I'm about to die scream. Well, actually, that scream would be. Man, he must be right on my ass. That is a way to end a fucking episode right there. Fear begun to drown him again. I didn't even fucking see what I said. Jesus! Now that's how you fun to end a fucking episode right there, guys. That is how you fucking do it. Oh my god, that was t fucking terrifying. That was horrifying, Jesus Christ. I've just, I forgot how bad this game can be and that, like, it does fucking get you sometimes. Oh my fucking god, this game is brilliant. Seriously, just, I'd recommend buying this shit, it's a brilliant game. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna quit the episode, guys, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. Go check out the playlist, it's awesome. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, this is Vimkin17 signing out. See you later, hunters.